YouTube, welcome back. I have a new tutorial for you guys yet again. Um, as you can see, or as you can see on my screen, this is from the Beal Plays. So go ahead and give him a follow. This is his work. I'm just showing you guys how to recreate the design. But uh, yeah, all credits go to him. And <clears throat> if you take a look, there are there are lots of gradients search button play button uh, these buttons here uh, request song name so yeah let's just hop right into it um, first things first make a new layer go down here and click and hold go to your rounded rectangle tool right here for the radius I think we could try 30 uh, let's go to fill and this. I'm just gonna make it black and stroke and we'll keep this off so if we start from the corner our 30 is not enough we gotta go for like 50 Oops. 50 <coughs> start down here and just go all the way up and as you can see this is what we have go ahead and change the color uh, I'm gonna move this somewhere where I can I'm gonna move this right here actually okay so double click and we're gonna select this color and now you just want to copy with Control J. And now we're going to make a new layer again. And you go back to your rectangle tool. Now this time adjust the radius to like 40, just a bit below than what it was earlier. And we're just going to make an inside frame like so. And can this stay on the move tool, please? We're going to change the color to this little inside color. And you can hit Control T to also enlarge this frame. And now you want to hit Control J to copy. And we're just going to go Control T once again to uh, expand this frame. So as you can see, this is what we have. Let's make a new layer. Let's go for our text tool now. And I'm just going to type out music. I'm going to use a font called Montserrat right here. I think this font is pretty pretty clean I like it um, like so you can have the little icon too but right click go into blending options and right here I'm going to hit gradient overlay and you just want to click on the box and right here I am going to opt for a blue actually as opposed to the green right here because I want some variation so I think blue is fine. It's something like this right here. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna add the icons later once we finish with everything else. But uh, there is the uh, first text. Let's make a new layer. And back to your rectangle right tool. You want to hold Alt and click right here. This will select the color for you. And lower the radius like 30. That is still too much. It's 20. I think 20 should be fine. This will go right down here. And we're just going to type out search for a song. Like so. Very, very nice. Very clean. Um, lower the opacity of the text right here to 10. Okay, now new layer again. And for the search button, um, let's make the shape. So let's take the music, right click, hit copy layer saw, and right click, paste layer saw. Right here, and let's adjust the size a little bit. Let's move these across. Okay, anyways, with this right here, you can hit right click convert to smart object and then hit control U and the reason is because now we can adjust the color to a nice green color as you can see and I'm just gonna take the text right here turn the opacity up and just type out the search this place is right here and change the color let's go for a dark Alright, so that looks good to me. We could take this layer, Control J to copy, and 
Let's move this below. Hit Control T, and we're just going to create this frame, as you can see. And now let's make these little sections. So new layer, uh, rectangle tool. I think 20 should work. Let's just give it a try. Yeah, 20 should be fine. You want to leave a little space here to account for the scroll wheel. Um, so double click, select this little color. Let's just move this like so. Make these a bit um, longer. Anyways, now you want to hit new layer, right click and hit mask. We're gonna take our brush tool and hardness and zero opacity. 33 and flow 29 use your color white and we're just going to click and hold shift and click across and then we're just going to paint right in the middle a few times like so change the mode to overlay and we could copy this multiple times this goes we change the color in blending options actually let's go color overlay and let's go for a blue and just bring this up as you can see now we have this which looks really good to me all right and text tool let's go song name we we'll go right here okay and right here uploaded by username and change the Font type, weight, font weight, and we can also adjust the color for this as well. There we go. And obviously now we can take this little search, just place it right here, and change this to play. As you can see, I'm going to take all this and bring this back into my little frame here. Second tab and the third one right here. This one will just be a scroll. This one will just be like this. All right, so let's add the little scroll wheel. Very simple. New layer, right angle tool, and I'm gonna place the ruler here so the height is consistent. And this is kind of thick for scroll wheel. This will just be this color. Let's take a look. Okay, it's just a lighter shade. Our right, copy, and this will just be a lighter color. Like so. As you guys can see, um, now all we have left is this little avatar section and this little section and the X button. Um, I will make these in a separate video so this video is not too long. It is already exceeding the 10 minute mark right now so uh, yeah. Let's make the X button. This is super super simple. We're just make a new layer. Use your ellipse tool. And if you remember earlier, we have the layer cell, so you can right click and paste. And then right click and hit convert to smart object, hit control U on your keyboard. And here we can adjust the color to a nice red. As you can see, we're just going to use our left tool, create this nice little frame, this nice little circle. We're gonna right click and hit paste layer style again, right click and convert to smart objects. And with this, I'm going to make this red for the outside. Um, the reason is because you see this, right? We're going to we're going to make a new layer and do the ellipse again. Like, like so and change the color to this inside. So now we have this little outline.
All right, so that is pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, all credits go to the Bill Place for this design idea. So the plan for GFX Comet for the entire month of June is to we're just gonna upload daily um, tutorials like this. I'm just gonna keep reacting to your artwork that you post in the Discord. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.